What's up, what's up guys? Okay, so before I go on to the rest of this video, I did want to announce that I signed up for TradeNet last week, and so I should be trading on stream as well as making a video review about them this upcoming week. I'm still going to keep my Ustock account, but what I'm really excited to use on TradeNet is being able to short. It came with a free paper trading software, and you can see in the last few days, I'm up about $3,400 shorting these cheap stocks, and so I'm definitely excited about that. And if you don't know what TradeNet is, it's similar to a prop firm. I spent $500 on the intro package, and with that, I get $14,000 in buying power with a $700 max loss. There is a profit split. I keep 70% of my profits and they keep 30, but I'm definitely excited about the opportunity. And so if you want to see that, make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the bell next to it to get the alert every time I go live. And with all that being said, enjoy this live trade video. Okay, so if you watched the stream on Friday, I ended the stream down about $10. I did have a comeback trade on PXS, and if you look at the bottom right chart, it was a very clean, pretty chart, and this one was pushing up with a lot of decent volume. And so I got in at about 450 with 50 shares and tried to ride it up for a decent push. Eventually, it broke up to the 470s and quickly up to the 480s. I know I exited this one right around $4.85 for a nice $11 or $13 gain on my small U stock account. So after this trade, I ended Friday up a very small amount, basically a break-even day, but I was definitely happy I was able to rebound from my initial losses in the morning. Okay, so what I really wanted to go over in this video is the importance of finding reliable, clean charts to get into. Okay, so if you look at TGC here, it had this really nice volume spike in this huge push up, reaching 119 during market hours. But if you look at it closely, you can see it after it made this really nice push here, it looked like a great setup to go long. It pushed up, went up to 119, breaking the high of the day, and then it just failed and washed out, trapping longs in the process. You can see again, it tried to make a push here, washed out, and then even here, this is a great reversal setup. It breaks over this previous high and then it washes out again okay and so what I'm trying to say is that when you see a stock that's not reliable that is faking people out every single time it tries to break over the high of day I try to make a mental note saying this stock is not reliable and it's ultimately not a stock that I want to trade that day Okay, so comparing that last one to PXS, the stock from the earlier part of this video, you can see this is a much more clean chart, a much more reliable chart. Every single time this one broke over the high of day on this big climb here, it held that previous high as support and continued to run. You can see the first time it broke over the high of day right here, it held it as support, ran up a little bit again, broke over this high of day here, held it as support and continued to run throughout this really big push. And so when I'm looking for stocks to trade, I want to find clean, reliable charts just like this. Another thing to consider about this chart is that as this thing pushes up more and more the volume starts to go up more and more as well it's a big red flag if the volume starts to go down after that first big push and doesn't ever rebound and push up nicely as you see these really big pushes in stocks you want to see the volume accompany that and continue to push up as well and you can see even when this one started to wash out the washout was reliable as well it was bear flagging here you can see it washes out bear flags a little bit and continues its climb down and so ultimately guys if I can leave you with anything try to find clean reliable charts if a stock continues to fake people out and continues to fake out every time it breaks the high of day you know you may want to make a mental note that it may not be the most reliable stock to get into anyways guys that's the end of this video so if you haven't already make sure you come check out our live stream it starts at 8 45 a.m every weekday morning i go over what's moving in pre-market and then trade my small account live at the open on stream as well as go over the big movers during market hours so be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell next to it to get the alert every time i go live and with all that being said good luck in the markets on monday thanks for watching guys